Hey guys, Mac here with Pete's RV Center. We got the 2024 Jayco Alante. I'm looking at the 29S floor plan here. I've got it flied out for you so you can take a look at some of the storage capacity, new features on the outside as well. Of course, we've got our two plus three year warranty here. Nice high gloss paint. You can see a reflection of my yard in there. And uh, went through it down, I always like to highlight underneath here got full pass-through so if you got an eight foot ladder and you want to take it with you you can put it here you know all the lawn chairs all the coolers you're not gonna have to worry about any leaks there's no carpet in there over here we got a big propane tank of course fillable we got a quick rvc rvq i'm sorry quick connect and then your your chassis batteries as well too here on a nice slide out tray and they finally done away with that old 507 key we've got key to like system on this too so all my slam latch baggage doors here all gonna be using that same, well, of course I've closed the one that doesn't have lock on it because it has the propane in there, but I'm gonna have this M here, which means the same door key for this is gonna open up this, All right? Everybody used to have a 507, I'm so generic, and if anybody got their hands on one, they could just go to a storage lot and get that TV right out. Another smaller storage compartment. Again, pass-through storage there. A lot of the other guys, a lot of that competition is not going to have this. On my couple's coach with an outside cooktop area, combine that with your RVQ quick connect in there, and you've got everything you need to get cooking out here. Here you can see we do have a hitch back here. It does have the four plug and the seven plug ready to go for you for towing. It does need a brake controller though, right? If you're gonna tow a little camper or something with brakes, electric brakes could be heavy. You might need that controller installed. Got a 5,000 pound hitch here. Coming around, we've got the Nautilus P4. I'm sorry, this is the Nautilus P3. Uh, so easy winterization, uh, easy sanitation, cleaning of your black tank, bypassing of your hot water heater, power tank fill. Big slide on this 29S as well too. The whole side of the camper, let me highlight that for you. We also have our slide topper up there. Keeping the roof of the slide from the sun, from the rain, the elements, keeping that seal nice and dry. My own income is 4,000. I ain't gonna be able to power this whole coach perfectly fine in the event that you are traveling down the road and it's hot, you wanna run that AC? Now, taking a peek here, you'll see I've got a rolled fiberglass roof there. All right, so no TPO, no rubber up there. Just a one piece fiberglass. This window, this window comes around to the side of the camper. That is a crazy view there. It, this eight pillar here is probably a, not even a foot big. Right. Take a peek on the inside. Wow, quite a lot going on out here for the new lattes. Alrighty. And here we've got our master power interior exterior light switches, step switches, on in controls. Got our chairs turned around, optioned in the bunk here. You know, that raises your resale value. If it doesn't have the bunk, nobody wants to buy it after the fact. Not quite sure why. But, you know what, having the bunk in it doesn't take anything away from you. I'm 6'1", with this bunk all the way up. I'm not going to have a problem getting under there, getting into the cockpit. I am going to be equipped with an Apple CarPlay or Google's Android Auto. I do have a tilting steering wheel here. Kind of hard to see with the position of the chair. An equalizer electronic leveling system. Power shades for your front end. Again, look how small these A-pillars are. Oh, sun's in the way. Let's pull that shade down a little bit. Here I will have a big bunk up here as well, too. And there is going to be another one well, for the other side so they don't fall into the shade. Whoever ends up sleeping up here on their 700 pound weight limit, too. Can almost double anybody else in the industry. All right. Coming through here, we are going to take a look at the bathroom. Porcelain toilet, plenty of counter space with the little cutout for your elbow room. You know, it's uh, almost unusable without that. Then you're going to have a nice medicine cabinet, right, dual mirror, three door, shelves in there as well. 
And of course you've got your Jayco shower, plenty of space to get four full grown men in there. I know because I've done it, pretty funny, right? We were at the factory and we wanted to see how sturdy that floor was. Well, with the base that they put in there, I'll tell you what guys, this is probably one of the sturdiest floors. There's no flex, just about 200 pounds here. We were tight, but it worked also. Skylight. I'm not even in there. And again, six one. Plenty of room here. See, we got our Furion 12 volt refrigerator now. Nice versus that gas electric they used to do for a long time. The 24s are just so many awesome new features going on. Got TV in the living quarters. TV in the bedroom. Got your barn door here. Dual air conditioner. Here. Ball bearing slides on these drawers. No wood on wood contacts. So in and out nice and easy. Big hanging closet here for long term storage coats. Under the bed, there is a little bit of storage down there. I can give you a comforters too to complete this bedroom some reading lights over here we've got our chi wireless charger and pop socket so i've got a couple usbs in there as well too if you can't just lay down and take use of that chi 